Hello everybody, it's Chase again, and today I would like to show you how to connect your Icon or your Braille Plus up to your Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi or wireless networks is probably the easiest way to connect your Icon or your Braille Plus up to the internet. You might have Wi-Fi at your home, and you probably have Wi-Fi at your work, your school, at most restaurants, and even gas stations. To enable Wi-Fi on your Icon or Braille Plus, you can hold the Program 2 button, which is the button to the right of the Applications menu button. If you hold it down for about a second, wireless on. you hear wireless on, on. USB network not connected. One and now it's one finding network wireless on. networks. It found one network. If I up arrow, DC Christmas network 27% secure network using WPA one of two. You hear my network name, the signal strength, which will be from zero to 100%. Now the smaller the number will be, the farther you are, the farther you are from your router. And then you hear that it's a secured network and it's using WPA. You can have open networks, which means you don't have to have a password to get on the network, or you can have WEP or WPA networks, which are secured and you need a password. Mine is secured with WPA, so if I want to connect, I need to press select, enter security key. Computer braille required and it name. tells me that I need to enter the security key in computer braille. So that, no so that all of you don't know my network password, I will switch my Braille Plus to the earpiece using the speaker toggle button on the side of the Braille Plus. This is the button right below the volume button. And it switched to the earpiece. And I'll type in my network password. I'll go back to speakers. Speakers. And I'll press OK. Connecting. You hear network connecting. DC Christmas network connected. One of two. DC Christmas network connected and it connected to my network. But you also heard one of two. So if I down arrow, USB network. that is a profile that will always be there called the USB network. This is a profile that allows you to use your computer's connection as your Braille Plus's internet connection, which I'll get to in a future video. But we are now connected to Wi-Fi. I'll press cancel to get out of the wireless network manager. Applications menu. Or back one to the applications space. menu. If you are just starting up your Braille Plus for the first time, or you have recently done a full reboot, your time and date will not be set correctly. If I hold status to get to the status menu, status menu, 6.08 p.m., Friday, December 31st, 1999, it goes back to 1999 on December 31st. I need to set my time correctly. But being that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I can connect using the inter I can update my time using the internet. I'll press select right here where and announce the date and time to open the t date and time settings. Clock format, 12 hour, one and that's fine. Time zone, international date line west, one of but I am not at the international date line zone. west. So you need to make sure you're set to the correct time zone. I'm in central, so I'll write arrow to find central. Midway Island, Samoa, Hawaii, Alaska, Pacific Time, Elizabeth, Canada, Tijuana, Baja California, Six of Mountain Time, Chihuahua, Arizona. Central America, Saskatchewan, Central Time, U.S. and Canada, 12 And I am Central Time, U.S. and Canada. So now that I'm on the right time zone, the Braille Plus can get the time for you for the U.S. and Canada Central Time Zone using the Internet. I'll hold down arrow to go to the bottom of the list and skip all the other settings. Retrieve time from the Internet. And press select on Retrieve Time from the Internet. I'll press select. Synchronizing. Okay. Can you hear synchronizing? Tuesday, okay. December 28, 2010. And now it's set correctly on 11.35 a.m. on Tuesday, December 28th. That's all I need to show you in this video about connecting to Wi-Fi networks. In our next video, I'll show you how to set up your email account in the email program and how to use the email program to manage your email.